Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today. down. I like that sticko. Where you going? You just put it in gear and took off, didn't you? Okay. I'm too pretty. Yes, you are. Today, we're going to cast out some interesting tidbits we hope you'll find interesting and possibly helpful. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Here's a fact you may not be aware of. Bass are at their biggest in summer, not spring. The world record largemouth was caught in June, and the world record smallmouth was caught in July. Every year, more big bass are probably caught from farm ponds than any other single type of habitat. Small bass are prone to reacting strongly to movement, whereas big bass have learned to require more positive cues before striking. Big bass will feed at night, but being a side feeder is a much more effective predator in daylight. The bass's number one predator is man. Uh-oh, got a hit. Whoa, buddy. You threw my stucco off, you rat you. Fat, healthy fish, I know that. Turn around. There we go. Healthy job, isn't it? Yes, you are. As Hank Jr. would say, he got my dog. Used to copy fish with him up on Kentucky Lake. Crappie get his jig, he'd say. He got my dog. I got a whole pack of them. Sixteen of them come in a pack. Here's something you might find interesting. Bass tend to live longer in rivers than in lakes because of the more moderate temperatures with highs and lows during the year. Here's something else. There are only three true freshwater bass in North America, and they're not the largemouth, the smallmouth, or the spotted bass. The only true members of the bass family are the striped, the white, and the yellow bass. Here's something else. Of the two sexes, male and female bass, the female lives the longest. Something else that might surprise you. The most fish for species in the United States is the largemouth bass. And the largemouth bass is the world's largest sunfish. And that's surprising. The world's largest sunfish. Now, the largemouth bass have been introduced around the world. Canada, Mexico, Central and South America, Cuba, Japan, Hawaii, and Africa. 
Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly. Today's conditions log is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Get out my little boat. Look at that crazy thing go. Another little chunky one. Come here. Got it. A fat one. Okay. Alrighty, moving along. Here's some more interesting facts. In the sunfish family, there are only seven bass. The largemouth, the smallmouth, the spot, the red eye, the shoal, the Suwannee, and the Guadalupe. Here's a fact, largemouth bass can catch and digest any food source that will fit the width of their mouth. Another fact, experienced bass may feed selectively, passing up forage they've learned are hard to catch. The larger the fish, the faster it can swim. Top cruising speed of most bass can be calculated at the rate of seven miles per hour for each foot of length. Bass not only hear some vibrations, some vibrations can be felt. There's one. Boy, look at him go. That's a good fish too. Where are you going? Down in the... I don't know why they all like to do that. Get up under the trolling motor. You got it too, didn't you, old boy? Couldn't see that hook. There it is. Bye. Okay, before we go any further with our little tidbits, let me show you what we're using today. We're using one of Bass Pro's little stickos. Now this particular one is five and three eighths inches long and it's in the black and blue. I've had a tremendous amount of success with this little bait. Here it is. It's this little bait right here. A little black and blue. And all we've done with it, we've just got it rigged with a little three out Gamakatsu EWG light wire hook right there. No weight whatsoever. And we're using 15 pound test big game trilene line. We're using a six foot, 10 inch Bill Dance quantum rod, which is fast action. Got a real sensitive tip, tremendous amount of backbone. And we're using one of quantum's little smoke reels. This particular one is uh, the 100 series. It's an 8.1 to one gear ratio reel. So it's a perfect setup for what we're doing. And we're fishing the edge of little grassland drops right along the bank. And we can work this bait 
exceptionally well over the top of this grass and these little holes in the grass. And it works better, the little sticko works better uh, without a weight because we can just float it over the top of the grass and when we have little holes in the grass, we can just kind of drop it and just work it up over the top. Where a sinker, even a light sinker, wants to hang in the grass and it kind of pulls it and shoots the bait too fast. This bait just kind of floats and drops real slow. And what I like about the bait, the bait falls uh, horizontally. And they like that, a horizontal fall versus a vertical fall. And when the fish hits it, it's just a little, just a little tick. It's just like taking your two fingers and just going tick, just like that, just a little tick. And a one pounder ticks it just like a six pounder ticks it. Today's show is brought to you in part by Quantum Rods and Reels. Quantum, performance tuned. Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. And Tracker Boats, fish the finest. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light saltwater, we have an action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Today's show is sponsored in part by Berkeley Catch More Fish. Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. And by Garmin. Bite your fish, not your fish finder. Thank you. Hello. Hello, you rascal, you. Caught fire of these small ones today. Where are my pliers? Where are my pliers? Yes. Yes, I can. Doink, there it went. And See you. Okay, let me show you some of the most productive areas along this shoreline where we're catching it. As you can see, the whole shoreline looks basically the same, but there are key areas along this shoreline where these fish are zeroing in on. Although it looks the same above the surface, it's underneath that's different, and that's where these fish are, are zeroing in on, and that's where we're catching most of them. Look at this diagram and I'll show you what I'm talking about. The best areas along this shoreline are the short little points that extend out, dropping off quickly into a little bit deeper water, and the shallow pockets. Most of the active bass are not actually right up on the points, but suspended out in front of them over the submerged grass beds and are coming up to strike the stick up. There he is. I can land them on this side easier than I can. Get them around the console. That's a pretty little old bass right there. Fat and chunky. There's the hook and where's my bait? It is injured. It is torn up. A pretty little two and a half pounder. I 
Well, I've lost another one of Johnny Marsh's little baits. Tell me he's gonna give me three bags of these, not to lose them all, but I like this black and blue a lot. They make 40, 11 different colors, so you don't have any trouble finding the color you like. Now, you ready for some more facts? There are only eight states in the United States that have never recorded a 10-pound bass. They include Alaska, Hawaii, Minnesota, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, West Virginia, and Wyoming. Here's another fact. Bass in northern waters live longer than the bass in the south. 15 to 17 years in the north and 9 to 11 years in the south. Another fact, today huge bass, both largemouth and smallmouth, are extremely rare due to habitat destruction, water quality, overfishing, and other factors. Now deep water bass are much more predictable than shallow water bass simply because they're not near as affected by weather changes. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light saltwater, we have an action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. It's a new conventional braid using nine 100% polyethylene fibers. It's built to be smooth, quiet, and cast so easily. The nine strands are woven together for strength, and this product is ideal for pitching, flipping, or casting, and available from eight to 100 pound test. And it's a small diameter braid. Hey, an impressive line you're really gonna like. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And by Garmin Force Trolling Motors, fish with force. Closed captioning provided by PowerPole, the original shallow water anchor. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. Anglers looking for a way to make their smaller boats stay put in shallow water? Check out the PowerPole Heavy Duty Spike. The spike helps hold small boats exactly where you want to keep them. It also secures the bow of a bass boat that has power poles. Each spike comes with a nylon dock line and push grips to help you easily sink it into sand or mud. Need to stay steady in one spot? Spike that spot. You can fish there as long as you wish. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. There's one. Another little sportster. That's about three pounds. I'll get out of my little boat. Well, I got to him. He was piled in it. A slide up here. He just went straight down in it too. Woo! <laughs> he wanted it and he went right into it. Yes, you did, but I got you out, didn't I? Huh? How pretty and green he is. He was wanting to get down in that stuff. And I mean, it's thick too. Okay, now you can go back down in it. Now, how about these facts? You know, a bass reaches maturity at approximately 12 inches in length. One of America's classic topwater bass lures was first introduced in 1920. Guess what it was? It was a hidden Lucky 13. Here's another fact. 
Bass growth rates are the fastest in newly impounded waters. Growth rate normally declines more than 50% in following years. In the United States, of the 20 biggest bass on record, 16 were caught in California, three in Florida, and one in Georgia. 40% of all freshwater anglers are bass fishermen. How do you fish thick vegetation? Well, this bait right here, with no weight, fishing it like I'm fishing it now, is a good way to fish it. Just throw it out there and just ease it along over the top of the vegetation. When you lose feel of it, just let it fall. And you feel it, see it right there? It pulls back, don't just yank it. Just inch it along. Feel a little resistance. Just kind of ease up with your rod tip, catch your line there and just kind of sting it just a little bit. And it'll pop loose and just ease it along. See like it's hanging there? Well, watch, just go. Sting it, sting it a little bit, and it'll pop loose. There he is. Look at Mr. Crazy. Hey there. You through? Here we go. Thank you. I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. I know you want to get right back. What are you thinking? I know what you're thinking. You want to get right back. We let him go, and he'll grow, and that's a fact. You know, one of the facts I mentioned earlier was the bass's number one predator is man. And knowing this, what you want to do is catch a lot, keep what you can use, and release the rest. I hope you've enjoyed our trip today, and you'll join us again next time. But until then, you catch a lot of fish, keep what you can use, and release the rest. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.